This voice that you say appears to you, is it an angel or a saint, or does it come from God? I won't tell you any more about that. I'm more afraid of displeasing him than not answering you. You're afraid of displeasing God by telling the truth? No. Did God forbid you to tell the truth? No, but my revelations were for the King of France, not for you. When you saw your king for the first time, was there an angel over his head? If there was one, I did not see it. Why did your king believe in you without any proof? Go and ask him yourself. Do you know? When you were taken prisoner at Compiègne, did you have a horse? Yes. Half steed. Black. Who gave you that horse? My king. How many did he give you? Five steeds and a uh, few hackneys. As much as for a lord. Mm. What an honor. Did your king give you other wealth apart from those horses? No. What about all those dresses you were given? Silk dresses, weren't they? Yes. Yes, I was given a few. But I never had time to wear them. Still? Pretty wealthy for a peasant girl, wouldn't you say? You look pretty wealthy for a servant of God, wouldn't you say? <laughs> you launched an attack on Paris, didn't you? I tried to. And didn't you order the citizens of Paris to surrender the city in the name of the King of Heaven? No. I said surrender it in the name of the King of France. That is not what is written in the evidence. Look yourself. I, I can't read. Ah! Yes, I forgot. God sent us an illiterate peasant to, to carry out such an important mission. Do you think that God made the right decision? To take an ignorant girl to save the kingdom of France? I leave that answer to God. <laughs> 